Welcome back everyone, Mariah Monetize here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be going over the price of Bitcoin. I'm actually gonna be showing you where I am setting buy orders for Bitcoin. I think the time is to buy, accumulate right here, and the time is also to set some more buy orders. A couple of things, if you missed my video yesterday, go watch it. I'm giving away a free 30 minute call. If you missed the opportunity to purchase a call over the last couple of months, you have the opportunity to win a call for free. Also, what I'm gonna be talking about in this video, there's a more in-depth perspective that I posted a couple days ago about a particular trading strategy that can make you millions of dollars with very, very little time spent. So just to give you the overview, what I talked about last time was a seven day chart on Bitcoin, okay? So basically I was using Heikinachi candles. I had the two moving averages here, the uh, thick red one and the thick green one. The red is a 12 day moving average and the green is a five day moving average. Basically what I said was that if you took the last decade, decade on Bitcoin and you purchased Bitcoin every time the green crossed above the red and you sold Bitcoin every time the green crossed below the red, you can make a ridiculous amount of money with spending very, very little time looking at the charts. And I'm all about enjoying your life, okay? I'm all about making a lot of money, but the easiest way possible because come on, we all just wanna be out there and live in our life, right? So. I saw this as a massive, massive opportunity to get in on the price of Bitcoin. I told you where I was setting some buy orders. Those have been filled. I will be showing you today which orders were filled. It wasn't a whole lot. It was just a handful of orders, but I just wanted to kind of start nibbling at Bitcoin. So then what I did was I took a bit of a closer look at Bitcoin and I was looking at the daily chart and what I was talking about, this was around here. Uh, I was basically saying that I was gonna be setting some buy orders in this range because as you could see on this daily chart, as Bitcoin trends upwards, you can see that it very frequently has a one to four candle pullback and it basically touches or crosses below the 12 EMA. So setting buy orders in that range can be extremely profitable. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the buy orders that I set and the buy orders that were filled. So you can see here that I basically had three orders set for 0.03 Bitcoin. One was filled at 44.222, 44.111, 43.999. .99. And so that was over here when these orders got filled. And you can see here the low of this candle right here was 43.955. So my order set at 44,999 was pretty darn accurate. And I mentioned in my previous video that I had $100,000 to deploy in the cryptocurrency market, but I didn't wanna use it all at once. I kinda just wanted to spread it out over time and just grab the pullbacks uh, as they continue. Where am I gonna be setting orders right now? I'm gonna be setting orders down over here at about 47,400. And I might be also setting some just below that as well, but in the 47,000, 400 range, that's where I'm gonna be looking to uh, put some buy orders on Bitcoin. So I'm anticipating a few more days of upside, a bit of a pullback. I think, you know, we're gonna see a lot of resistance up here, uh, just above $57,000. I think that on our, you know, I do think that Bitcoin is gonna break new all-time highs by the end of the year. I think that's highly likely, but it's not gonna be just straight up from here. We're still gonna see big pullbacks, 15, 20, 25%, 30% pullbacks. So I would say that if you wanna set some really buy, like low buy orders, wherever the price is of Bitcoin, put your buy orders like 20 to 30% below that current value, and you could get some really nice fills potentially. So here on the 12 hour, I would anticipate uh, a bit of a pullback. So I would be setting buy orders, like I said, you know, down at about 47,000, 400 and then maybe as low as uh, maybe where this moving average is down here at about 46,000. So like I said, I think these are great pullbacks, great buying opportunities. So keep a really close eye here. But you can see here the four hour chart is not looking good, which can kind of give you some more confidence on catching this next pullback. This red two uh, started trading below the red one and it also made a lower low. So I'm gonna anticipate more downside for Bitcoin. I would even put some buy orders um, at about 46,000. That's what the four hour chart is particularly telling me. Let's go ahead and take a look at the one hour chart of Bitcoin trending downwards. I would anticipate um, a bit of a uh, bounce here up to like maybe 48,600 and I'm anticipating more room to the downside. So 
nothing really promising here on these lower level time frames that there is a clear trend change. Like I said, the 30 minute here is still trending downwards. We're not, there's nothing giving us a ton of confidence that it's going in the opposite direction. This could be a higher low here on the five minute chart of Bitcoin. So honestly, like what I'm gonna be doing right now, and I'll even show you, um, in this particular account, I have about $27,000 to spend. I'm really happy with the 0 0.09 Bitcoin that I accumulated in the price because it's like at a nice little profit here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in a buy order here. Excuse me, I don't want a market order. I want a limit order. So I'm gonna go ahead and put, just put it right below uh, the current price, so $48,050. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put 30, see if I can catch that right there. So you can see here that I now have an open order for Bitcoin at $48,030, just needs to drop $10 and I'll be able to catch that. And now we're $3 away, $4 away, so hopefully that will fill shortly. So we might be seeing a nice trend change here on the five minute chart on Bitcoin. Um, let's go look at the 15 minute chart, which we haven't looked at in quite some time. Not a ton of clarity here, just kind of trading sideways down. Um, I would be potentially convinced if this green starts trading, if it crosses over the red as a potential to get back in, but we are not quite there yet. So like I said, I'm anticipating, you know, a few more days of upside, although this current candle, this current daily candle, which has about four and a half hours left, is a uh, an indecisive candle, so something to take into consideration there. This is the thing though, uh, looking at traditional markets, SPY made a new all-time high today of $448.54. This is one of the reasons why I think that Bitcoin still has a really good chance of making uh, new all-time highs this year, is that there's really no sign of the S&P 500 slowing down anytime soon. What I was thinking about recently, which I, have kind of thought about a little bit, but I was thinking about it more in depth is a simple fact that everyone says markets are going to crash. Everything's going to implode. You know what? I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. And I say that because there's more money basically floating around than there's ever been before because of all the printing, because of all the stimulus, there has never been a time where there's been more money in circulation. So take that into consideration when it comes to the inflated price of everything. It might not come down because think about it. 25% uh, of all US dollars, it might even be more at this time, have been printed since the pandemic. So it's like, you know, you really wanna take that into consideration with all your calculations and everyone's trying to predict like, something's gonna be the catalyst, right? Like the markets are gonna drop and all of these like really fear mongering statements, but there's been, there's such an influx in money in the system that, that might actually not happen, or it might be extremely delayed. We can't really go back into a recent time where there was so much money pumped into the market. So the buy order that I put uh, on Gemini has been filled for $48,030. Let's go ahead and take a quick look back over at the five minute chart on Bitcoin. Still not a lot of clarity. We're kind of trading in this channel here. If we start trading above the high of this candle right here, which is $48,295, then I would say I would probably want to kind of jump in and buy a little bit more. But what I'm gonna do right now, because this is what I was telling you guys earlier, right? This is what I'm going to do. This is what I recommended in this video. And I'm going to actually execute on it right here is I'm gonna be setting some more buy orders down here, 47,000 about 285, so 47,285. All right, and uh, I'm gonna go back to my uh, 0 0.03 of a Bitcoin. All right, I'm gonna do 47,385. And then I'm gonna put in a bigger order at, uh, let's see here. So remember I said the 20 to 30% lower than where the current price of Bitcoin is. So we are right over in this range. And since we're already down from here, I'm gonna go ahead and just take it from the top here. I'm gonna do a 15% pullback just because I don't think we're gonna make a lower low. That actually would set us more over here. So I would say more of like, probably a 10% would make more sense to me. This is just kind of probably not gonna get filled at 45,363. Honestly, not really anticipating this one to get filled. I'm gonna go ahead and put it for double there. So just wanted to share particularly what I'm seeing on the charts. I'm anticipating uh, potentially a few more days of upside, 
a pullback down to touch and probably go maybe slightly below this particular moving average. But either way, I'm here for the long run. Bitcoin is going to completely change the world. I was thinking today, all the opportunities I had to buy homes and I'm so glad that I bought Bitcoin every single time instead of buying houses just because one, the return crushes it. And two, it's absolutely no work just holding on to your Bitcoin. Get yourself a Ledger Nano S, protect your Bitcoin. I have a link down below, one way for you to support my channel. A lot of other links down in the description below for you to support my channel. Thank you so much for being here and I look forward to seeing you next time. As always, go out there and create a portfolio that you love.